Hello, my name is Javier de Santiago, and today I want to show everyone how to use a kinematic equation for a falling object in which acceleration is constant. In order to do that, I will demonstrate myself walking off a high dive into the pool I work at. So let's start out with the information we already know. To make this problem more direct of our goal, we are going to ignore air resistance. So this means that acceleration due to gravity is going to be equal to 9.8 meters per second squared. I also know that at the end of this video, my velocity will equal to zero because I will be completely submerged by the water, so my final velocity again will equal to zero. Next I'm going to take the average time it took me to fall and be completely submerged by the water, which for the first video was, was 1.26 seconds, and for the second video was 1.18 seconds. So as I take the average, I get a value of 1.22 seconds. The only variable that I don't know in this problem is my initial velocity, and that is the speed that I actually fell at during this time. And it is the value that I will be calculating for in the next steps. So here's a list of the kinematic equations, and I'm going to choose the one that best fits my problem. In the second one, I have a time, I have an acceleration, and I have a final velocity. The only thing I don't have is an initial velocity, so I will use this problem. Before we do the calculation with the second equation, I'm going to add the subnotation y. The reason why is to specify my direction along the x and y axis. I'm going in the downward direction, which indicates the y direction. So I'm going to add the subnotation y to my final velocity, my initial velocity, and also my acceleration. Now that I have the correct equation I'm going to use, I'm going to isolate my unknown variables from my known variables. This leads me to have my initial velocity, which is equal to zero, minus my 9.8 meters per second squared acceleration multiplied by my 1.22 seconds. Once I plug this into the calculator, I'm gonna get a value for initial velocity, which is equal to negative 11.96 meters per second. The reason being negative is because I'm going in the downward direction. Thank you everyone for watching my video. This was directed, written, and started by Javier de Santiago, which is me. And the pool used was the Brenda Villa Aquatic Center, which is located at Commerce CA, zip code 90040.